guys. It's me, CP. I'm back. I'm here today to quickly show you how to make meatloaf. Um, I decided to do this video at the last minute so I don't have my lights up, I don't have my cameraman. Um, my brother-in-law just asked for some meatloaf, mashed potatoes and string beans. I made the string beans last night. I'm getting ready to quickly show you how to make uh, meatloaf. My mother taught me this recipe a long, long time ago and um, you just never forget it. So um, the ingredients that I need uh, is an onion, I need some Worcestershire sauce, um, red pepper, I got an orange pepper. I'm going to chop these two up. Um, you use what you have in your refrigerator first. So I have this orange bell pepper, so that's going in there, the red. I have some fresh parsley. And of course I'll be using salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Okay. So um, my meat, just so that you will know, I used a pound of ground beef and a pound of sirloin, okay? And oh, I forgot to tell you, that would be two eggs. You use um, an egg per pound. I have two pounds of meat, so I'll be using uh, two eggs in the recipe, okay? So the first thing, I've already chopped up the parsley. The first thing I want to do is I want to take my small bowl and I want to take the bread that I'm going to use for this recipe, which is some delicious monkey bread. And I'm sorry, I can't show my face today because um, I had a hard time adjusting that camera. I'm not the cameraman and I really, um, I struggled today just to do this little bit. So um, I hope I have it adjusted where you can see what I'm doing. I'm crunching up some good old bread. eating while I do it. That should be about enough. And I'm going to let, I'm going to take, I'm going to eat the rest of this. I'm going to get my milk. Pour some milk. Just enough for it to soak. We're gonna give it a few minutes to, um, to soak in that bread. And then I'll be back. When I come back, my onions will be chopped. I'm gonna pour a little more milk. My onions will be chopped. My bell pepper. And all my little goodies is going to help season and flavor my ground beef. I'll just have it chopped up. I won't add it, but I'll have it chopped up. So, okay, we're going to let that sit for a minute and let that milk absorb that or let the bread absorb the milk. All right? Okay. Okay, guys. I'm back. And I want you to see how the... Um, the milk and the bread have come together. Add that in to the meat. I'm gonna add my parsley. And I'm bring my bowl up here. And I'm gonna just start. The best tools in your hand in the kitchen is your hand, people. Two eggs. Take your hand. Best tools in, in the kitchen. You don't want to believe it, but it is the truth. That's the only way you're gonna make sure that everything gets mixed in where you can have some really good flavor in this meatloaf. And of course the egg and the bread is to help bind everything. And then we're going to add our seasonings. I'm going to add my red and orange bell peppers. I'm going to add my onions. This is about a fourth of an onion and half of a bell pepper. It's a whole bell pepper because I use half 
red and a half orange. You really need for this to have flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna add my, um, this is onion powder, garlic powder, and it may seem like a lot, but it really isn't. This is fresh cracked black pepper. I believe in fresh cracked black pepper. It definitely enhances the flavor of your food. This is Worcestershire sauce. This is ketchup. Let's try to get all that out. This is a little hint of barbecue sauce. You don't have to use it. It's just what CP is using in, in CP's kitchen. Okay. Now, I still have to add my sauce. I want to mix this all in pretty good. Then we're going to add salt. You know I like to pinch high, pinch and hold high. And that's what we're gonna do for this pound of meat. So that's gonna take three pinches, people. Three pinches. I'm gonna combine that together. Look at there. Nice, colorful looking. Be nice and flavorful. The onions are gonna give it flavor. The parsley is gonna give it a little color. I have a loaf pan over here. I'm gonna formulate it and put it in the loaf pan. And the purpose of the loaf pan is so that the uh, juices will remain in the pan and keep the meatloaf moist. So, let's put it in there. There we go. This is a non-stick pan, although I might just take it out and put aluminum foil under it, and that's only for me an easy cleanup. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go ahead on and finish showing you how I would knead this in. Once you get it to the desired, desired shape, you put it in a 350 degree oven for about 50 minutes. It depends on your oven and how it cooks. Ovens vary. I'm gonna say 45 to 50 minutes and then check on it, okay? This is going to be delicious. All right, I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys. While I am waiting for the meatloaf to finish in the oven, I am going to make these mashed potatoes that were requested. These are Yukon Gold. I did not take the skin off because the skin is very thin and Yukon Gold potatoes are very creamy. So I'm going to add, I usually prefer heavy cream, but uh, I didn't have any. So this is just milk. I minced some garlic. We're gonna add those so this is gonna be garlic mashed potatoes. This is about three-fourths sticks of butter. And I'm just gonna begin to mash. That's all. Just mash, mash. And when I get finished putting the butter with the milk, I'm gonna add a little bit of sour cream, some salt, some pepper. These potatoes are gonna be so good. Creamy delicious. Okay, so this is about as mashed as I'm gonna get them right now without having any uh, rice. more salt. Mm, perfect. 
if you whip them too much, they become gummy. So I couldn't continue without them becoming gummy. And this is for a client. So I'm getting ready to plate up. I'll see you on the other side. I'm getting ready to plate up and pack up. All right. Okay, guys. Look at that. Look at that smoke. I can't put it. I can't put it. Let me take a picture first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picture. This is meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and fresh string beans. Perfect, people. Let's taste it. Okay, I can't get it down low. Mmm. I can sure tell you if it tastes good. And it sure tastes good. String beans. Mashed potatoes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I tell you. I put a little gravy on it. I don't need gravy. I'm dancing, y'all. I know you don't remember to dance. I'm going to show you. Mm, mm, mm. Traditionally, you will put the tomato sauce. I don't like the tomato sauce. I like gravy. And I like the taste of the meat, which is why I use ground round as well as sirloin. So you could get this texture and this tenderness. My string beans, I picked fresh, fresh. I smoked it in, uh, I cooked it in smoked turkey. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I gotta go. I have somewhere to be to take this food, okay? Talk to you later and as usual you know, I've got my wine. Be safe. Be careful. I love you. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.